Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy, and I am tickled to death to bring you an unboxing of the Magical Mystery Bead Box by Jesse James Beads. I am so, so excited. I have not done an unboxing in a while. And this is one of my favorites. So uh, stay tuned. All I did was open this just so I could get it open quickly on camera. And uh, let's check it out. I'm very excited. I don't want to hit my camera. <laughs> Look at this. Magical Mystery Book Club 2023 edition. First of all, I love to read. I love books. I... Aside from beads, I think I also have a book habit. I worked for Barnes & Noble part-time for like 10 years, and I don't think I made any money in there. I think I just supported my book habit. But, oh my word, this is cute. So look at all those goodies in there. We're going to get to those in a minute. But let's see what we have inside here. We have... Oh, and look, they put the dates. How wonderful. 128 uh, 1813 Pride and Prejudice bead mix. So I guess these are when the books were originally published. That is so clever. Uh, January 1818 Frankenstein bead mix. September 1868 Little Women, one of my favorites. Uh, 613 1908 Anne of Green Gables. Uh, January 1934 Murder on the Orient Express, another one of my favorites. I love Agatha Christie. And uh, it looks like October 1952, Charlotte Webb, also a favorite. And then we have some literature cord, paperclip gold medal chain, and a book charm set. Absolutely adorable. I can't wait. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to just put this to the side. So this must be the literature cord. Oh, it's got words printed on it. Isn't that clever? Oh wow. I love this. You know, if you have a if you have a book lover um that also appreciates your jewelry, I love this. Oh, that's a lot of cord, guys. Very fun. I can't wait to see what people do with that. I can't wait to play with that. All right. What else we got? These must be the, aren't these cute, the book charms. Oh, man. Oh, and it's all the books that we have that they have listed here. There's Anne of Green Gables. There's Frankenstein. There's Murder on the Orient Express. These are so cute. Little women and their charms. <gasps> You know what? They're lockets. I just realized that. Let me open one up. They're little lockets. Those are precious. Yay! Which one is this? Pride and Prejudice. I think these are the original covers. From the, from the original books, which is also cool. Yeah, I love reading, and I love, I loved that job at Barnes & Noble. First of all, I worked with some great people. We had a lot of fun in that, in that job. We had so much fun, and uh, that was around the time that Harry Potter books were coming out, and we would have parties when the books would come out, and um, people would dress up and come, and I loved meeting the authors. When we had authors come, that was one of my favorite things about that job. Man, if that job had paid more money, I'd have, I would do that. No kidding. For a living. But, you know, it's a retail job. So people that can can make their living with retail, God bless them. Because it's a tough, uh, tough job. But that particular job was so much fun. And like I said, I don't think I made any money in there. I think I supported a book habit. 
But these are, man, yeah, if you know a bookseller or somebody that loves books, um, if you know somebody that's an Agatha Christie nut by, by chance, what a cool personalized item. I don't know whether I'd want to put them all in one, like a, like a charm bracelet would be cool. Or if you wanted to just build a theme, like a themed piece of jewelry around, that would be a lot of fun around the book. You know, especially if you're very familiar with the books, like the Charlotte's Web would be cute with a little pig charm and a little, you know, spider and farm animals. You could really go to town with these. I can't wait to see what people do with these. These are precious. I'm excited. Very fun. All right, let's see. We got some mixes here. Uh, oh, and there's quotes from the books on them. Oh, man, whoever came up with this, they always blow my mind. They're so creative with these, with these mystery boxes. I love this so much. Ugh. Let's see. We're going to go through these, of course. I just want to get everything out of the box. So here is our paperclip chain, which, you know, that's very popular right now anyway. So what a great way to um, include that with literature and writing and books. Love that. Very cool. And then we have some, looks like some little cord ends for our literature cord. You get four of those. And uh, I like these with the little teeth. I'm gonna show them to you here in a minute. You can glue with these, but I like them because you they just fold over. See that? And you just clamp them down. You don't need glue, but you can glue. But they're pretty secure. So you get four of those, so that's nice. Very cool. I'm loving this. I am loving this box. Okay, let me move this chain over. We're gonna get into some of these. I just wanna stare at these books. They're, they're so cute. Oh my word. Wouldn't a Frankenstein one be fun, like for Halloween and use Halloween beads? Remember those Frankenstein uh, earrings we made a while back, Mr. and Mrs. Stein? That would be cute with that. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got several mixes to go through. Let's see. Beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. So this is from Frankenstein's Monster. We'll look at that one first. They all have quotes from the books. Wow. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. I just saw something amazing. <laughs> yes, you are going to hear me gasp a lot. <laughs> Let me see. And I love these little containers. I reuse these. These are great. Once you use, you've used up the beads, we're storing more beads. So I like that. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I can't wait. Oh, wow. Are those little beads? Or I'm not sure what that is. All right. So these are what I was gasping at. Are those stunning? Those are gorgeous. Ugh. First of all, I love pear shape. The facets, I mean, this just glows for days. How gorgeous is that? And then these caught my eye as well. These metal beads, do they say something on them? They look very ornate. I can't tell. I don't think there's a word on there. I think it's just a lot of detail, but wow. 
really gorgeous. Very antique looking. Some big hole beads in kind of a brown swirl. Very gorgeous. And some more brown beads. I like, I like the way that those play together. Kind of think of some old leather, like an old leather chair. Um, I think library, you know, wood, like the deep rich woods that libraries have in them. That's kind of what I'm coming with, coming up with there. And then we've got some pretty abalone beads, beautiful oval, and really pretty ornate spacers. I like those. And looks like you get quite a few of those. Beautiful. Kind of an antique silver. And then look at these guys. These almost look like um, if you've ever seen sea urchins without the spines. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Really interesting texture. That's the side. I've not seen any like this before. I love it when I see a new, a new shape or, now these are a brighter silver. And then here's some brass. You know, you think about like brass candlesticks in an old library. I love the way books smell too. That's one thing when I, when I walk into the Barnes and Noble or any library or bookstore, that smell is just, it's a happy smell for me. Especially if there's a cafe, because that and coffee, I'm a happy girl. And then look at these. Really pretty black faceted. Oh, I have one that broke. That's what happened. Well, that's all right. There's some little pieces in there. That's okay. At least it's not a a rare bead. We can I can find more of these. I probably have more in my stash, but you do get quite a few. And this does not happen often, I will tell you. Jesse James Beads packs their their items very carefully, and so it's extremely rare to get a broken bead. But if you are, if you do get a bead that's broken or something is not right, and you contact them, their customer service is fantastic, and they will make it right. So I'm not too concerned about that, but just FYI in case that happens to you. So this is the Frankenstein mix. I'm gonna move this guy over to the metal, but oh, those, those are stunning. Ooh, and they look really pretty with the, with the brown. Very nice. All right. Happy, happy, happy. Let's see. I am a happy girl right now. What are we gonna do next? Let's do Little Women. There is always light behind the clouds. Mrs. March, Little Women. One of my absolute favorite books. And I think I've seen every movie version they've ever made, ever. And I have seen it on stage. And I just love it. Love Little Women. Oh, that is just so feminine and sweet. Wow, I see some interesting shapes in there. All right, let's see. So a far cry from Frankenstein, I would say. First of all, these are very interesting. Kind of a curvy barrel. And they're not, they're pink and white. And they have a little bit of variation to them. Very pretty, very subtle. Love the mint pearls. Oops. Look at those. I love the pink and the green together. You know, that's red and green on the color wheel, basically. Here are some, oh gosh, here's some more broken. Wow. So these are pottery. Uh, I do have some broken ones in here too. That's surprising to me, but still I get quite a few. Looks like two are broken. Gosh, 
but I can do a lot with just these. And maybe I can glue these together. We'll see. I might, maybe I'll do some, you know, you could glue these onto like a focal bead. I wouldn't throw these out actually. If I want to embellish something, it's already cut in half for me. Stay tuned. I may do something with those. Sometimes, you know, you can take little broken pieces and do a little mosaic. I was thinking maybe, uh, I forget which one of you on my Facebook does all the polymer clay. Is that you, Nancy? Nancy Woodland, are you the one that does all the polymer clay? Uh, these would be neat in a mosaic with some polymer clay, possibly. So, don't despair if you get broken. I'm not too worried about it, like I said, but if you contact them, they'll, they'll make it right. And then, this is what I was finding so interesting. These are like little, they look like the little sides of jellyfish. Or little jello molds. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen, it's almost like a flower, you know, bead, but it's flat. I'm dying to do some, wouldn't it be funny to take wire and some seed beads and do a little jellyfish? Stay tuned. <laughs> I know, I know it has nothing to do with little women, but that's where my brain went. <laughs> I love these little precious pink cubes, crystal cubes. Really pretty, really pretty palette. I like this palette. And then gorgeous flower beads in a pretty pink and also a little mint green. Very feminine little mix. I do think little women, little dainty silver bead caps. Those are pretty. Okay, let's see. I believe in loyalty to one's friends and one's family. Princess Dragomirov, murder on the Orient Express. Orient Express. Ooh, this looks dramatic with the reds. Very regal. What a fun box. Let me move these up. So now we've got a very rich palette. Ooh, gorgeous hearts. You know, we have that Valentine Blitz I told you about. Valentine Jewelry Blitz. These would be great. Not everything for Valentine's Day has to be pink and red. You could do some black hearts. Those would be gorgeous. Oh, I love those. And then look at these coin pearls. Aren't those pretty? Love those. Some really pretty red check glass flowers. Luscious, luscious red. Love that. And then we've got, look at these ornate drops. Aren't those stunning? I think of Fabergé eggs. Or even really ornate uh, ornaments for the tree. I'm still in Christmas mode somehow in my brain. But uh, those are really pretty. Love those. All right. And some red oval faceted juicy red beads. And we have some more of those pottery beads in red. Looks like these all managed to stay in one piece. Awesome. Love that. Some enamel charms with the black. More flowers. Very gorgeous. And then we've got some nice brass spacers, gold spacers. 
they're just very shiny. Get quite a few of those. And boop. Come on, mister. <laughs> Some more bead caps. Very ornate. I like these. I do love a good bead cap. Get quite a few of those too. So this was Murder on the Orient Express, which that book cover has the red and the black and the gold. So that looks really lovely. Plus it looks very regal. And that quote was from the princess. So, you know, we still have three to go. Let's see. You have been my friend. That in itself is a tremendous thing. Charlotte's Web. And I love that quote. And it is so true. So look at this. Oh, wow. What a fun box. It's one of the things that I love is the imagination that goes into these boxes. Jesse James Beads just, they just knock it out of the park. I think they just take the subscription, the idea of a subscription box to like a whole nother level. In their ideas, in the execution of the ideas, and in the materials that you get, it is just always a delight. <gasps> oh, I'm loving that blue. These are gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to play with those. Look at those. Those are going to make some stunning earrings. And I love that color. I love it. Oh, wow, you guys. We got some pretty dark blue, almost to a Prussian blue round bead. Very bold, very dramatic. And now look at these table cut beads with the gold. Love these too. Looks like stained glass. Love the gold with that blue. And you know, with our bargain bead box that we got, we've been adding gold to that. And as you can see, the gold really warms up the, the cool of the blue. It really plays nicely up against that. Love those drops. Very, very pretty. Some really gorgeous bicones. These have a coating on them. Uh, it gives them kind of a purple, Prussian blue, purpley kind of flash. I'm going to move them around so you can see. You see that purple flash in there? Those are gorgeous. And some really pretty fluted beads, gold beads, kind of a squash shape. Very pretty. Again, really beautiful with that blue. Even more spacers, these little saucer spacers, but they're, again, a different, I like all the different designs. And when you stack these, you get such a pretty stack of textures, I think. Very, very pretty. Love those. And then some daisy spacers, which we all love. Those are the first spacers I ever used when I started making jewelry. I bought lots of daisies. I think in the class that I took, my first ever jewelry making class, we used these with some earrings when we learned how to make earrings. That was a lot of fun. That was eons ago, but it was, it changed my life, as you can see. <laughs> Years later, I'm on YouTube, speaking like I'm an expert. <laughs> All right, let's see. True friends are always together in spirit. 
Anne Shirley from Anne of Green Gables. Another favorite book. Oh, I do believe I've read all of these. It's one time or another. I think we had to for school. I'm not between between high school, middle school, high school, and college. I'm pretty sure I read all of these. I know we read Frankenstein. Uh, maybe not the Agatha Christie. I think I just read that on my own. But um, Charlotte's Web, of course. Great books. All right, let's check out Anne of Green Gables. Oh my word, let me push these over just a bit. Wow. I just, that just makes me happy just to look at it. First of all, you've got some beautiful coin beads. I love all the colors. Very sparkly. Very gorgeous. Then we have these really pretty copper ornate rounds. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I love these champagne colored drops. Love the facets on those. They look really nice with that copper. A little pop of green with that would be really gorgeous. Then we have some very pretty green rondelles. I like this kind of new spring green. Almost a pea green. Beautiful. Beautiful next to the copper. And look at these little tiny, wow, hexagons. They have a coating on them. We'll get them all in the tray so I can move them around. You can see how sparkly the facets just make them really sparkly. But those are little tiny hexagons. Octagons, no. Hexagons. <laughs> Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but whatever it is, it's gorgeous. I love that. Beautiful AB finish, that Aurora Borealis finish. And the pretty champagne color also, kind of a yellowy, more of a yellowy champagne. And then look at these really pretty, um, I guess these are antique bronze flower beads. I've not seen these before either. Those are really pretty. I love the detail on those. What a stunning box. And then we've got some more flowers, but these are gold with the white enamel. And then some very pretty peridot colored little tiny spring green rondelles. So I think we're down to one more mix. I'm seeing if I can, am I gonna use up all my triangles? <laughs> Somebody in the comments asked where I got these. I get these at, um, I ordered these on Amazon. I think I put the link uh, for that gal. And if uh, you need, I, I'll, I'll link it in my comments too, in my description tonight. Oh, so this one is, there is nothing so bad as parting with one, with one's friends. Mrs. Bennett from Pride and Prejudice, another favorite of mine. Ooh, look at those colors. Yes, that Pride and Prejudice, anything Jane Austen, I think also I've probably seen every movie ever made of any of those, and I've also read them. <laughs> and I love looking at the clothing and the, the cost, you know, just the clothing and 
I just love all that stuff. I am happy with these colors. Aren't those gorgeous? This looks like one of our color theory <laughs> palettes. So you know I'm not complaining, but look at those lava beads. Kind of a reddish fuchsia. And then this cornflower blue is so pretty. Look at that. Yay. And some really pretty ceramic in the dustier blue. Very pretty. And then love the tassels. Little fairy dresses, like I like to call them. And some oval beads. We've got a deep, looks like a, kind of a milky ivory on one side, and then it's more of a lustry peach on the other. So that's really pretty. We will be heading into spring soon, so it's nice to see some of these lighter colors. And then I love these frosted. They've got a cool finish on them. There's a little purple in there. As you can see, it's a little more silvery here. Kind of a gray, bluish gray. Beautiful. All right, I think, let's see. We'll move our chain. Here's some more cornflower blue, but these are shiny. Now they, I think they have a coating on them. Yeah, they do. They have an AB coating. Aren't those pretty? Love them. And then look at these little tiny column beads. They have a really pretty facet. These would be a nice little dangly feature on some earrings, I think. But these are also Aurora Borealis coated AB. For those of you that are newer to the jewelry making, that's what we call a rainbow finish in Aurora, Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Of course, I have fun saying it. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> AB is much easier to say. So I think I'll stick with AB, but that's what that stands for. But I do love that. I just want you to catch the light. The facets are really, they're tiny, but the facets are gorgeous. Really make those sparkle. Even though they're little, they look so pretty. I love those colors together. And then, you know, I like to mix metals and it looks here like we have some mixed metals going on with our bead caps. Got bronze and silver. So that was the Pride and Prejudice mix. So let's put our little books with each one. Let's see, we got, here's Pride and Prejudice. Here is, which one is this? So here, these are the Little Women. Louisa May Alcott. Absolutely gorgeous. Charlotte's Web. Murder on the Orient Express. Isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, Anne of Green Gables. And Frankenstein. Let's see. That is a happy, happy 
Boy, this is making my wheels spin. Now I want to go through my bookshelf and, and think if I can figure out bead mixes to go with books. Oh, we may have to do that next, guys. I know we've been doing a lot of color theory. And we'll still do color theory, but that would be fun to take your favorite book or your favorite painting. <gasps> Ideas. Stay tuned. But this is just gorgeous. I love this idea. And then, of course, we have this really awesome... Uh, I think this is leather um, with the words and the quotes on it. You've got this paper clip chain. And of course we have the, the end caps for these. And I feel like I, I got to go into Barnes and Noble with a, with a latte tomorrow because I feel like I got to go book shopping now. <laughs> this is amazing. What a clever, clever box. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to see what people do with it. And I think, you know, if you've never, if you've been on the fence of any of these boxes for Jesse James beads, I tell you, they, they don't disappoint. They are not cheap, I have to say that. But you do get quite a bit and you get high quality and you get very interesting things to work with that'll really get your creative juices flowing. But I hope this inspires you anyway, even if you didn't get the box. Maybe go through your books and see, you know, maybe there's a cover art you liked. And go through your stash and see if you can match something up with that. That might be a challenge we could do also. I don't know how many of you like to read, but I, uh, when I make jewelry, a lot of times I have books on tape or uh, audiobooks going. I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm making my jewelry, and that's pretty much what I do when I'm just in my own space designing. So this is right up my alley. <laughs> Let me tell you. So uh, thanks so much for joining me. I am too excited to show you this today. I am excited to play with it. And uh, so stay tuned. I think there'll be some designs on the fly or something coming out of this uh, in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you. Please uh, give me a thumbs up and a like. And uh, you want to drop me a comment? I love love your comments. Join us on Facebook under Marcy Creates. And I will put the link for these uh, triangular trays in my description tonight. So take care of your sweet selves. I'll see you on the next video. And uh, take care of your family and your friends. And have a great evening. <laughs>